Hey everybody, welcome to another Let's Play with me, RC, here on GGRC. Today we're starting Pumpkin Jack, and I can tell you all right off the bat here that we are going to be playing through this whole game, because I played through the demo a few months ago on this channel. If you haven't seen this already, it's awesome, and I am very excited to jump into the game. Basically, what I found out is that there's six levels in total, so we'll do six parts, okay? And that's where we're going to have it here. Uh, but the, if you haven't seen the game, the game is completely completely uh, Halloween based like you play as pumpkin Jack who's like this pumpkin headed scarecrow type character it's got such a great uh, look and feel to it like I'm super excited to jump into it um, it's it's basically a mix between like if you took the medieval game that came out uh, back on PlayStation, which they did a remake for on PlayStation 4. They did a, uh, you know, a remaster with better graphics and everything like that. Uh, if you took that, you took the original Jack and Daxter and put them together, I think you would get something like this. You know, if you sprinkled on a bunch of Halloween on top of that, you would get Pumpkin Jack. Um, and I, I love the original Jack and Daxter series, and the original game is a ton of fun, too. Um, but without further ado, guys, let's just jump into this and start our journey. Once upon a time, in the great Arkansil Kingdom, the world lived in peace and coexistence. Between the humans, the animals, the birds, even the cute little bunny rabbits. It was you gotta care about the cute little bunny rabbits. Without anything to fear of war, famine, catastrophe. It was so very boring. <laughs> so boring, in fact, that even the devil himself was bored brainless. The devil dreamed of bloodshed, pestilence, suffering on a cosmic scale. So, he devised a plan to make things in Arkansas a little more entertaining. Hmm. The devil unleashed the curse of the Eternal Night. A powerful spell that conjured mindless, soulless, heartless monsters across the world. The monsters lay waste to every city, every home, every leaky outhouse, and backwater town in the kingdom. It was beautiful, but for some reason, the humans quite enjoyed their safe, boring little lives. They couldn't handle a few pesky monsters coming in and tearing them all limb from limb. So, they called upon the champion. The mighty wizard. A sorcerer with the skill and intellect to break the curse and usurp the devil's power. Hmm. The wizard departed his luxurious tower in his studies to find the power he needed to break the curse of the eternal night. Very well, the devil said. Two can play that game. And who knows, this might be the fun I've been looking for. So in response to the wizard's quest, he called upon a champion of his own. Stingy Jack, <laughs> history's greatest trickster and con artist, banished to wander the world as a wayward spirit. The devil crammed Jack's soul into the skin of a pumpkin and made him a deal. The devil would forgive Jack's past misdeeds and grant him passage to the afterlife. And in return, he gave Jack one simple mission. Find the wizard and destroy him. And there we are. Humble beginnings, am I right? Good God. And... This is where our journey begins. Okay, so... Um... I am going to... Uh, fix the audio, turn that down just a tad here. I think about there should be... Yeah, that should be good. Alright, so... For those of you who did not watch my demo playthrough, uh, this is Pumpkin Jack. Or Stingy Jack, I guess you'd call him. 
Oh, bird. Hmm, this world is a mess, so the devil meant what he said about total death and destruction. Let's see, so we got... It's been a while since I played this, so we got a double jump, we got a roll. That's all we got so far, I have a feeling we are going to be picking up some weapons and stuff as we go here. Um, and I believe that this first level may actually be the level that I played in the demo. So we'll see. I probably won't be able to remember what's different, but it's like it's doing fine as is, but he still needs me to get rid of the pesky wizard. Uh, every level also has collectibles. Which begs the question, what kind of wizard can't the devil get rid of himself? It's a good, it's a good question, isn't it? Oh, and I believe that is the owl there, who gives us uh, guidance, if I remember correctly. Hoo hoo hoo! Look who bothered to show up. I trust you haven't already lost your brain in that gourd. Grown men have died for less than that bird. Tardy and insubordinate. Not an amazing first impression, Jack. Who are you? How do you know my name? I'm a servant of the devil, and I'm here to monitor your work. Devil hasn't forgotten your penchant for trickery, Jack. He doesn't trust you. Uh, just don't slow me down. I haven't forgotten how to roast a chicken. Hoo hoo hoo! Just remember who gave you the fancy new body. Speaking of which, let's begin your orientation. Tutorial! Uh, what kind of fool do you take me for? The kind who spent centuries in Corporeus. Uh, now, stop dawdling. It's time you get acquainted with your new form. Alright. Time to tutorialize. Yeah, there are collectibles in this, though. You, you'd expect that, right? With a 3D platforming style game. Of course you would. I just really like checking out the atmosphere here, though. It's like a very beautiful world they created here. You would be wise to drink from these cauldrons, the primordial stew. Who will hold your new body together? That is our... Checkpoint, basically. All right, here's a collectible. One of 20. In some cultures, crow skulls are... Oh, I missed it. You double jump to boot. Wow, your body is magical, you dope. All right. And that's a nice save for us there, too. So I'm going to try to find the raven heads, but we'll do our best... ...to not spend too much time searching around for stuff, because we got a game to finish, right? Man, it's been a while since I played a good 3D platformer. I'm super excited for this, and for it to be Halloween-themed is just, like, even better. Alright, we got a raven's head to pick up over here. Got it. 3 of 20 over already. And by the way, Happy Halloween, everybody, if I haven't already said it. Hope everybody's staying safe during, uh, well, we all know. That's better. Okay, we got another save. How about another raven's head? Is there one over here? Maybe one behind these rocks? Hmm. Nope. Would have expected it, but no big deal. Get a ring start and then double jump across the river. Made it. Woohoo! Not bad so far, Jack. You've shaken off those cobwebs. Well, uh, it does feel good to have my own body again. Arms, legs, everything. You really put them to the test from here. Uh, there will be monsters ahead. You shouldn't have any trouble fighting them off. Well, I've never been one to turn down a chance to bash some heads in. There you go. But... Why should they attack me? Has nobody told them I'm on their side? They can't be told anything, Jack. Monsters are mostly mindless miscreants. <laughs> they can barely tell each other apart, let alone something like you. Pumpkin or not, you're still human. That alone makes you their target. So, that's why the devil needs me. He needs someone who can think like a man. This new enemy is clever, Jack. He needs someone just as clever. I see. He doesn't mind that I'm cutting down his monsters? Hoo-hoo-hoo! <laughs> They're practically worthless. Do what you must, just get the job done. All right, we shall. All right, not only do we have monsters, but we got uh, logs to dodge. Oh, and we got a raven head to pick up. That's 420. 
almost a quarter of the way there with those. Ah, oh, you can just like totally run around those things if you want. No big whoop. Oh, there is another raven head over there. Now we are a quarter of the way. Or no, that's one we picked up. I see it actually shadows them. So you can see where one was at. Okay. Fair enough. So they want you to dodge like so. Fine. There's your dodge. I'm more busy looking for uh, raven heads here. Or crow heads, whatever, whatever they are. There is a uh, skeleton with a glowing eye hanging from that tree over there. I don't know. I don't know if you guys can make that out. Look at all these birds. Ah, it's back! It's back! Flap away, everyone! Flap for your lives! Oh, great! More birds. Let me through before I pluck you all raw. Stay away from us, Scarecrow. I've got claws and I can use them. Me, a common Scarecrow? I am Jack, the greatest rogue to ever live. Wait, he's got legs. The Scarecrow doesn't have legs. And his head isn't stuffed with straw. See, I'm no scarecrow. Now, <laughs> let me through, you corvid creeps. Not so fast. It seems the birds have the upper hand for once. We'll let you through, Mr. Jack, if you help us in return. At the mercy of a crow, what do you want? The scarecrow often appears at that barn just ahead. He's been terrorizing us for weeks. He's a menace to crow kind. I suppose you want me to get rid of him? Yes, yes, and I'll help you to boot. My wings are swift and my beak is sharp. Hmm. Some air support could be useful. Very well, bird. Kaka, Huzzah. <laughs> I like that. Kaka, Huzzah. Death to the straw-faced menace. Alright, so we got a bird now. That's pretty awesome. These birds don't seem to be afraid of me anymore. We're all, we're all bros. We're all buddies here now. I'm just looking for hidden raven heads. That's all we're looking for here. We found something over here. What is this? I don't know what this is, but I like it. What do we get for that? Gramophone discovered. What does that mean? No idea. I have absolutely no idea what that means or what that does, but that's fine. But we have a bridge. Ah, that's right. I do remember something about throwing the bird to like do stuff. New checkpoint. Let's take a drink. Let's save. that. Is this the only way we can attack? Just with the bird? Oh, that's right. We pick up the, uh, the shovel. Forgot about that. Alright, Raven's Head. 5 out of 20. Attack! Oh, nice. Forgot about that. Okay, so those all just must be like little health orbs or something that you can pick up there. And like I said, I really, really like the look and feel of this game. Like, I'm biased because I really like Halloween, but... 6 out of 20 Ravenhead. But yeah, just really digging it. Another new checkpoint. I mean, 3D platforms have really gone by the wayside since, you know, the PS2 era of games. Which makes me sad because I... I love platforms in general. Like, 2D and 3D platforms are probably my favorite genre. Just absolutely love that genre. Always have. And every now and then you get, you know... A new 3D platform that comes out every now and then. And a lot of times it kind of doesn't live up to what you're expecting. 
I will say uh, recently that uh, Microsoft came out with uh, the uh, new Super Lucky's Tale. And uh, basically they had Super Lucky's, uh, Super Lucky's Tale, the original, which I liked. I already liked that one, but they came out with new. And new is kind of like, oh geez, I'm on fire. You know fire burns, right? Yes, yes, I kind of put that together. Um, but the new one basically kind of like takes the original game and makes it that much better in a lot of different ways. Eight out of 20. That was a big one, apparently. Who's this guy? But yeah, it, it takes the original uh, uh, New Lucky's Tale or whatever the original was called. It's one of those games that like has several different versions with different names. There's like Lucky's Tale and then New Lucky's Tale and the New Super Lucky's Tale. I don't know. I, I get them confused. But the newest one that they came out with is really good. It's a really fast paced. They streamline the gameplay. It's really what the game should have been in the first place, to be quite honest. Who is this guy? Wait, wait, don't hurt me. Uh, you can talk? Yes. I'm not here to hurt you, sir. Are you sure? You look like a monster to me. Rotten, half dead, soulless. Of course, I'm a salesman. Oh. Well, now I just want to kill you anyway. No, 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 stop. At least browse my wares first. What are you selling? Skins. I harvest the skins of interesting dead people for other people to wear clothes, too. Oh, right. All right. Well, we won't kill you, but I want a discount. By all means, take a look. All right, so we can unlock skins. Okay, that's cool. So we can buy the lumber. Let's see what it looks like. All right, so you can do lumberjack jack. Hmm. I kind of like, like the new look. Why don't we equip it? So with the raven's heads, you can buy new clothes. That's pretty fun. Is there one behind his carriage here? Nope. Good spot to look, though. Okay. There's monster. Oh, I missed it. There's monster essence something or other there. Uh, nothing up over this way. Yeah, they even did a good job of like putting things in the background over here. Like you could see, like I'm sure we'll go by those windmills coming up here in a second here, but you could even see like rocks and you know trees and stuff in the distance over here. They did a good job of making this world feel alive in some way. Alive yet dead because it's Halloween, you know? But anyway, to my uh, point that I was talking about though, what, what is the last 3D platform you remember coming out that was actually new? Like, A Hat in Time is one that came out that I hear is really good, but I had just have not gotten to it yet. Um, I hear that one's pretty good. Uh, of course, Mario Odyssey, which was brilliant. Doing some dodging here. Got him. All right, so you earn those basically after you fight, it seems. But yeah, they're just few and far between. During the PS2 era, man, there were like three new three. There was like two new 3D platforms like every week, and I, uh, <laughs> I played all of them. I played a lot of them. Some of the weird ones I played, yeah, we're halfway through the skulls. Um, I played through Doctor Muto and finished it. The one where he plays the mad scientist. That one was not great, but I played through and finished it. But back then I had a lot of time on my on my hands. I played through and finished like most games I started. Um, uh, I played, I couldn't finish it, but I played through most of Vex, which actually I quite liked, except it is a difficult 3D platformer. They, they set you up with some challenges that I feel like are just like way too hard for that game. Like you gotta, you're basically climbing up these like ridiculous heights to like, take out these enemies and collect things and like it got to a point where I'm like there's no way I can survive this I can't, there's no way I can make this jump or make this combo jump whatever I was doing um, and I just ended up giving up on that one but I, I got pretty far into it um, there was another one on PS2 uh, where you play I forget the name of it, it was like whiplash or, or something like that where you played as two two uh, animals that were being experimented on in this like crappy place um, 
A. I'm glad I jumped up over there. I wouldn't have been able to get this one otherwise. Um, and you're tied together by a chain, and you one of you whips the other one around like a weapon <laughs> to take out enemies and stuff. That one was uh, very original as far as characters go. Uh, but I, I dug it for sure. That's one of those ones that you would expect for them to do like a weird like um, You know remaster or rehash of in these these years or you know Within the coming years, you know, you'd be like where is this coming from? Uh, kind of like how they you know decide to do destroy all humans sort of out of nowhere though That was a much bigger seller to be fair. I think whiplash like kind of died on the vine. You know what I mean? Um, but that was a game I actually was pretty excited to play when I saw that it was available, I grabbed it. So like I said, because at the time I played every 3D platformer I could, if it was available and it was cheaper, pick it up at like 20 bucks back then on PS2 or whatever, I was I was grabbing it. Okay, we're gonna grab this raven head here. What's cool about this game, this game definitely feels like it fits in with that era of game. Like, this feels like it could have been released on GameCube or PS2 or something like that, you know? And I don't even mean that as a slight. I mean that as, like, a compliment, for sure. Come back here, bird. Okay, you can hit him with the shovel. That's good. Nice. I like the fight music. Begins and ends for you, so you know when it's safe and when it isn't. Mm, looking for raven's heads, but I don't see any other ones here. But yeah, I'd have to comb back through, you know, all the games that have released, you know, 3D platformer-wise back in the day uh, to really make note of uh, all the weird, obscure ones that I played for sure. Hmm, perhaps your new body isn't needed here. Hop out for a minute and look inside. Hop out of my body? Of course, your new body is just a shell. You can always use your head. Hoo-hoo! Wait, you mean he can get out of that thing? That's disgusting. Uh, cram it, bird. Hop to it, Jack. Drop your body and head inside. Hoo-hoo! Okay. So we drop inside and then what happens? Oh, that's right, I remember this. You kind of do like these little like puzzly areas. Mm-hmm. Forgot all about it. All right, so, which I think is really funny. You can still use your roots to move around, double jump and attack. Oh, I think I'm gonna be sick. I I love that they did this in the game. It's so, so funny that you're playing with, as this guy. Uh, with the vines walking around here. I, I love this little animation of the uh, <laughs> the legs moving like that. That's great. Okay, um, so I think first we gotta hit this one here. Or maybe not. I seem to lower it. We have to push the box on it? Oh, yes, okay. There it is. Okay, that's what we needed. But then this one, we need to push just a little closer. Yeah, it's funny, I, I'm playing through the level that was in the demo, and I don't know how much of it has actually changed, but I don't remember a thing about it except for, like, the environment and that kind of thing. Open sesame, says the, the raven. Yeah, you guys will have to let me know what kind of weird 3D platformers or other weird obscure games you may have played through in the past. Wow, that's a lot of work to get to uh, that one raven head there. Alright, we already did. I guess we can pop another save here because we picked up that head. Oh, is he, they got dogs or something? No, they're rats. Okay, I definitely don't remember this from the demo. I don't remember rats, I don't remember... I'm gonna have to go back and watch that. 
Okay, there we go. We took it out. I'm going to have to go back and watch that demo another time uh, to see if uh, any of the... how much of this is actually still the same. Because I don't remember walking into this barn, and I don't remember the little rat trap thing there either. Those, those both are uh, not uh, jumping to mind for me. Hmm, I don't see another head up there, so we must be good. I do remember the puzzle thing with the little, with the little pumpkin head that you know goes around with the vines for for legs and stuff like that. Already at sixteen out of twenty for those. Love the colored lighting in this too. Takes me back to uh, <laughs> getting my first like voodoo card. There's there's one around the the bend over there. I have to remember that. Reminds me of getting my first voodoo card in the 90s for playing Quake 2. Like, you guys remember getting, you know, uh, graphic cards for like one game you wanted to play back then? Quake 2 was definitely one for me. Couldn't play it, got the game when it came out, and could barely run it. And I was like, I need to get a voodoo card <laughs> so I could play Quake 2. Uh, but to be fair, I played a lot of Quake 2, so it definitely did not go to waste. It was worth it. Um, how am I supposed to get over to the other side there? Oh, I hear the... Alright. Take it open. There we go. Oh, these guys don't count as the, uh, as the fight, huh? Interesting. They don't count as part of the, as part of the uh, fight there. Man, look at the, the the lighting and everything in this. It's so spooky and so so well done for Halloween. Oh, jeez! Lit myself on fire. Okay, so that. Over there is where I need to go. Yep, here we go. We're gonna get the raven head over here. 17. We are three away. And I think there's another one over here. I can see the red. Yep, we are two away from all 20. We're gonna burn the barn down, apparently. Okay. Jump over here. And we want to jump across here, I guess? Maybe? Oh, I see what we want to do. Okay. Part of the puzzle solving of 3D platforming. Okay, I didn't realize it. Or 3D platformer is what I said. Three. It's a puzzle solving of 3D platforming. That's what I meant to say. Uh, anyway. You see these ropes and lanterns here? If you see a rope and a lantern on the side, that means you can jump up to it. So, that is a nice little clue they put there for you. Which I only just now put it together. So, I guess I am a bit late to the party on that. New checkpoint, that's better. Alright. So, there are two raven heads that we didn't get. I almost feel like we're walking into the boss battle now. Yeah, what did I tell you? It looked like it felt like we were dropping into some kind of fight or something. Oh my god. Who's next? Watch out for the fire. Okay, so the fight's over. Do you smell smoke? I, I wonder I wonder if I smell smoke. Uh, it's just, just that everything is on fire here. Oh, we gotta run. Okay, this is cool. Yes, this definitely was not in... This was definitely not in the demo. That's for damn sure. Ah, the camera's tilting. So we are one raven head away from collecting them all. Take 
the bridge. Oh my god, this is uh, taking me back to playing Alan Wake all those years ago. <laughs> Jumping from crazy platform to crazy platform in the middle of nothing. Throw it, bird! Throw it! Well, we made it through. That's the important part. And I think we missed one raven head. Look at him cocky, walking out like, yeah, I got this. Oh, we're still in the level. Okay. Wow, you wrecked the place, Jack. But I didn't see that awful scarecrow. He must be back in the fields. Okay. So we have a chance of getting the last raven head here. Wherever it may be. Now, what I do remember is there was a ba boss battle at the end of the demo, and I think it was this scarecrow they're talking about. Um, so we'll see how this goes. Take him out. Oh, I think we might have got the last raven head here. Yep, managed to get all 20. Look at that. Not too shabby. Oh, yep, there's the... Uh... Well, I'm gonna go save. That way I don't have to keep grabbing this head. I don't know. I, di I didn't notice if it said saving. But you can see the scarecrow right there. There he is. Who goes there? Show yourself. There he is. Ka! He's just as menacing as always. Don't be so craven. It's just a bog standard scarecrow. Did you see me? Please tell me you didn't see me. <laughs> I like the crow's uh, personality. He's pretty good. Well, look who's here. Back for more fun, little birdie. You saw me. Flee, flee, flee. Stop wetting yourself. As for you, it's time you hopped away. I heard you were skulking around here, Jack. We dim-witted monsters not cutting it for the old man, hmm? I have my own business, Scarecrow. If you don't get out of my way, I won't mind turning you into kindling. Ooh, fighting words. The devil has the gall to send some wayward soul to do our jobs for us? Well, we'll show him all you humans are good for, living or dead. I'll bury you again, you wretch. That's right, I do remember this. Oh, we gotta send the bird up there. You get a very small window to do it. I do remember that. Oh, that's right, we gotta jump over that. Get me with that green stuff every time. All right, three's a charm, right? I think we got him. Okay. And yeah, we got a staff. Hell of an upgrade, right? Hell of an upgrade over a shovel. <laughs> That's for sure. Stingy Jack. The genius trickster who could fool even the devil himself has returned to the mortal realm. Armed with a brand new body and his soul cruelly bound to a festering pumpkin, Jack has been joined by his stoic guide, the Owl, and commandeered the services of a cowardly crow to fight on his behalf. But there must be no more time for fun and games. Jack and his companions of the night must embark upon their quest to slay the wizard. With Jack now perfectly attuned to his new vessel, the owl leads him to the mountains in the distance. For at the heart of the mountain, through a network of ancient mines, lies a powerful secret. Hmm. What could the secret be? Hmm. I wonder. Well, this is going to start level two here, guys, but I'm going to pause it right here. And... 
I'll see you in the next episode for part two, level two. I uh, hope you're enjoying it here. I know I'm enjoying this game so far. Uh, please uh, join me in the next uh, installment of Pumpkin Jack Let's Play because I'm definitely enjoying what we're playing so far. And anything from this point is going to be brand new from what I can tell. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, uh, watch part two when it's available. I'll see you then. Thank you.